Oh, Ubisoft. Blech. Ubisoft has decided to redefine a gameplay trailer as a trailer that doesn't have any gameplay in it. Thanks, Ubisoft. That's useful, what you've done. It was at Microsoft's latest Inside Xbox Digital event that Assassin's Creed Valhalla's first-to-look gameplay trailer was revealed. How thrilling, how tantalizing, an opportunity to see the latest Assassin's Creed game on the Xbox Series X. Okay, that is what they're still insisting on calling it, right? The problem with the Assassin's Creed Valhalla first to look gameplay trailer is that it doesn't show gameplay. It's about as much of a gameplay trailer as anything Gearbox released for Aliens Colonial Marines was. Now there are lovely landscapes, you get to see some lighting, there are brief, very brief glimmers of combat, but nothing that seems to resemble what combat would actually look like in game. Which is what you expect from a trailer that's called a gameplay trailer. You expect to see the game being played. Not a load of carefully constructed, camera-angled, pre-rendered, unrepresentative shit. The small print in the trailer itself pretty much admits that what's being shown isn't representative of the actual game. Saying game and console in development, footage representative of expected Xbox Series X gameplay. But again, even that's not entirely true because you couldn't call what's being shown on the screen gameplay. Unless Assassin's Creed Valhalla is literally an interactive montage and we're seeing a real-time chunk of actual gameplay from beginning to end. But of course, we're not seeing that. We are just seeing literally a montage of pre-rendered bullshit masquerading as a gameplay trailer. And Ubisoft's duplicitous nonsense has been noted, the YouTube upload for this gameplay trailer has 31,000 dislikes to 19,000 likes. Now of course the whole like-dislike ratio isn't all that useful in the grand scheme of things, and no matter whether you press the thumb down or the thumb up, it all counts as engagement and helps the video, but nonetheless, it is a clear sign that people felt quite misled by a gameplay trailer that didn't have fucking gameplay in it, Ubisoft. Oh, fucking hell. Ashraf Ishmael, the creative director of Valhalla, at least anticipated that people would expect gameplay in a gameplay trailer and tried to temper expectations beforehand, tweeting out that it will be a first taste in all caps of the game, something to tease your appetites. Following that up with, to be clear, this is an in-game first look teaser, again, really trying to nudge us away from expecting game gameplay in a gameplay trailer. Unfortunately, he didn't much help his case by retweeting the official Assassin's Creed account, which had a video of his face with the words gameplay trailer underneath it. And his attempts at temperance were not shared by Ubisoft anyway, who has continued to crack on that this is a gameplay trailer when it isn't a gameplay trailer. Even Kotaku's gotten in on the action here with an article by Zach Zweizen that's called Gameplay Trailers Should Have Gameplay In Them, which, yeah, yeah, ideally they should, shouldn't they? Ismail would address the fan disappointment in the wake of the non-gameplay gameplay trailer, saying, you rightfully expected to see more today. We have a long marketing campaign ahead of us. Oh, goody. You will see in-depth gameplay and get a lot more info about the game. Thank you for your excitement and passion. Be patient with us and be kind. It will be worth it. There is a problem with that sentiment though, being patient and kind and expecting things from Ubisoft. And that problem is that Ubisoft as a company is a big gigantic liar. It lies routinely, all the time. Sometimes about shit that don't even matter like a liar. I've published videos in the past cataloguing Ubisoft's many lies. Most pertinently of all is that Ubisoft has a track record of showing unrepresentative footage of games before release. Ubisoft quite famously attempted to pass off footage of Watch Dogs as next-gen console footage back when it was first revealed, not telling anybody it was actually running on high-end PCs because Ubisoft had no fucking clue what Watch Dogs would really look like on console. And just like with Watch Dogs way back in 2012, here we are again on the cusp of a new console generation and Ubisoft's talking 
bollocks again. That's one example of Ubisoft playing fast and loose with the truth. We've had instances of microtransactions being promised not to appear in games and then appearing in games. We've had Ubisoft tell conflicting reports over whether DRM works or DRM doesn't. Whatever's most politically convenient for them to say at the time. Speaking of politics, Ubisoft routinely lies about politics not being in their politically charged games. This isn't even the first time Ubisoft's tried to pass off a non-gameplay trailer as a gameplay trailer. Assassin's Creed Origins E3 2017 official world premiere gameplay trailer is also not a gameplay trailer. It seems that Ubisoft has a very loose personal definition of gameplay that it uses to bullshit people. And bullshitting is what Ubisoft does because of all the lies that I've seen Ubisoft do. Those are just the examples I most often remember. There are plenty others. Ubisoft is not an honest company. And even if it does believe some of the things it says at the time, it's perfectly happy to go back on its word at a moment's notice. The U in Ubisoft has always stood for U-turn. Pretty much any company would deserve some shit for presenting a non-gameplay trailer as a gameplay trailer. But when it's a company like Ubisoft, to whom the truth is a distant acquaintance at best, it especially needs to be called out because Ubisoft has proven willing to sweep the facts under a rug if it means it can sell more copies of games. Just look at how pre-ordered Watch Dogs was after that bullshit E3 Watch Dogs trailer. And of course, this was revealed at Inside Xbox, which is specifically trying to flog Xbox Series X consoles. And I really think when we're talking about hundreds of dollars worth of hardware, for the average customer, we should be more, oh, I don't know, honest. That'd be a nice new way to kick off a console generation, a little bit of honesty from AAA video game pal. What the hell am I asking for? I might as well ask for the moon to sprout boobs. Honesty and integrity from the AAA mainstream video game industry in can fucking seevable. And that's a big reason why I'm cracking down so hard on this. It could be argued that, oh, it's not that bad of a lie. Sure, there's no real tangible gameplay in it, but it's representative and, as we've seen with the creative director, who's really putting the word creative to work, we can fudge the meanings of words just enough to get away with saying it's a first taste of the gameplay. But that sure as shit isn't how Ubisoft is marketing this trailer, and this isn't an isolated incident, and again, that, that's why I'm coming down as hard on this as I am, because it's not isolated. This is a company with a history of taking liberties with the truth, taking liberties with the truth again. In an industry full of companies with histories of taking liberties with the truth. I talked about how the mainstream game industry is in the business of lies way back in 2017. It's become such an expected part of the business that various spokespeople in the game industry think nothing of rattling off lies casually. They don't even think about it anymore. This industry is so familiar with lying that some companies don't even refuse to respond to rumors. They will just deny them, and then less than 24 hours later, confirm them on their terms. They'll tell lies without thinking twice about it. They might tell you, oh, this game isn't being shown at this show, and in their mind, it's a little white lie for the sake of a surprise. They are actually showing it. But that is, I mean, that's always still been concerning to me telling publicly a blatant fucking lie to contrive a surprise, and that's a petty thing. That's just showing how spokespeople in the industry are willing to lie over meaningless shit. To say nothing over the pork is they'll yank out of their ass when there's something important on the line, specifically money. Your money, usually that they think they're entitled to. And so long as they get what they want in the end, they're happy to lie. They will produce bull shots. They will produce unrepresentative trailer footage. They will lie through their teeth. They will say certain things are in the game that aren't. They will say certain things aren't in the game that are. For a long time, the game industry's modus operandi has been sell a game at any cost, no matter how much trust you erode in the process, and then just ask to be forgiven in the aftermath. And unfortunately for most AAA companies, the business of lies is booming. Compared to some of the mistruths spread by video game publishers, hell, compared to some of the mistruths spread by Ubisoft itself, calling a blatantly non-gameplay trailer a gameplay trailer may be seen as one of the lower misdemeanors. And yeah, technically it is. 
there have been worse lies told, sometimes by Ubisoft itself. But it's nonetheless insulting to our intelligences. That's what Ubisoft's doing here. That's the long and the short of it. They're insulting our intelligences. They're saying, we can show you anything and tell you what it is, even if it's not that thing, and you'll just swallow it, you fucking suckers. Because to them, it don't matter. So long as they get your pre-orders now, they can worry about any fallout for their dishonesty later. Fallout they will ignore or, at best, performatively apologize for before doing it again. So long as they sell their half a dozen special editions of one game now, they're prepared to say anything. This is a petty small bullshit lie, but... It's a small petty bullshit lie, one they didn't even have to do, and they did it anyway. They didn't have to call this a gameplay trailer, but they did because that gets more eyes on it. And that's all that fucking matters. They're essentially doing what the lowest of the low hack YouTubers do. Falsely titling videos to get clicks. Are they gonna start talking about how COVID's a fucking hoax next? And that, dear viewer, is my short video essay explaining why Ubisoft is literally Literally no better than Alex Jones.